They're everywhere throughout our region. Abandoned or underused spaces with amazing history that we drive or walk by virtually every day. If you're like Bill Rohr and I, spending so much time on the road, traveling to stories, flying drones, and just exploring our area, you can't help but be curious. I think we should go to abandoned sites, abandoned buildings, places that nobody gets to see, and we give them a perspective that no one else can. You think they'll let us do it? Why not? First up was Spring City, Pennsylvania, to check out a place that you may know as the haunted Halloween event, the Penhurst Asylum. But in reality, it's the site of the Penhurst State School and Hospital, a school for children with special needs that's been closed for years and therefore remains hidden in plain sight. So we tell the story, and we tell a very accurate story. Oh, there's another hall. As our tour began in the Mayflower Building, the history lesson started. Penhurst was the wrong answer to a question that was asked over 100 years ago. At a time when young people with disabilities were thrown away into jails or workhouses, um, the state decided that they needed a facility where they could separate these special needs children and allow them to be successful and protect society. That was actually how they worded it. Visually and historically, the tour was just eye-opening. The importance of Penhurst really circles around the idea that people who are differently abled deserve the exact same opportunities and rights as anyone else in society. And the Mayflower Building, that was just the beginning. We toured the old medical facilities, rode by and learned about some of the honestly by today's standard shocking treatment that some of the children received. One of the practices that gets some of the most outcry was the idea that they would remove the teeth from residents. Now that's a fact, it happened here. And in today's standards, completely, in every way, unacceptable. It's wrong. But when we dial it back and we look through history's eye, we realize that there were no therapies to prevent the residents or teach the residents to not chew on their metal bed rail, to not chew on their hands to the point where they're breaking skin or breaking their teeth off. So the decision to remove teeth was rooted in the idea that they had no other options. But maybe more important, it highlighted why digging past rumor to fact is so important. The villain here was a systemic idea that separation of people is okay. That's the villain. That removing people from society could ever be an answer. That's the villain. But Jim, one of the staff members and our guide for the day, explained to us why getting the truth out about Penhurst is so important to him personally. My kids would have been in this place. My daughters would have been sent here and society would have told me that that's what I was supposed to do. There's a long history associated with the Penhurst State School and Hospital. Oh, see? Unfortunately, some of it, it just isn't based in fact. Penhurst is truly, in the circles that follow the paranormal, Penhurst is regarded as one of the most haunted places on Earth. Now, the haunted reputation is real. Some of our investigators will come in. They'll do great, really scientific investigations, cameras and measuring devices, and they'll show me evidence that I can't explain. If anybody was ever worried about me wanting to do one of these investigations, <laughs> not a chance. Listen, I'm not going to lie. When we first arrived, the reputation for the site being haunted, that completely bugged me out. You weren't scared at all? Not one bit. No? No, I wasn't one bit. Bill Roar, on the other hand, was unbothered. It's impossible in limited time to show you everything that we experienced, but we can certainly try to give you at least a taste. This is why we work so well together. <laughs> <laughs> Completely different perspectives. <laughs> I see beauty, Bill. Bill. Terrified. Yeah. <laughs> but for those interested in learning, the people at Penhurst hope that you'll do what we did, take an historic tour one day, along with the ghost hunting sleepovers and Halloween haunted house fun, and find out why the truth of Penhurst, like so many other sites in our area, it remains hidden in plain sight.